Thanksgiving is a time of showing gratitude to God, and Christmas is a time of celebrating His greatest gift to us. But if you don't know what that is, then you're missing what this time of year is all about. And more than that, you're missing the purpose that you were created for. In these secular days, a lot of people hardly think about God at all. But the fact is, God is the creator and Lord of the universe, and he's also the one who specifically created you. As the psalmist writes, for you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And here's the problem. Though God is perfectly good and perfectly wise and perfectly loving, you rebelled against him, just like your parents before you, all the way back to our first set of parents, Adam and Eve. The Bible tells us, none is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks God. All have turned aside, together they have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. Because God is perfectly holy and righteous and just, he will not tolerate your sin. In fact, he hates it. And that's terrible news. But what we specially celebrate and are thankful for at this time of year is the good news. You see, God doesn't leave you in that spot. Instead, he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, into the world for your sake. Jesus lived obediently where you failed to live obediently. Though Jesus never sinned, he was nailed to the cross as a criminal and died there. And as he died there, he was paying the death penalty that our sins deserve for every single person who will come to him in faith. Three days later, he rose again from the dead, announcing victory over sin and death. And because he did that, you can be saved. You can have your sins forgiven. You can have eternal life with God as a free gift. If you've never received that gift and would like to, just pray with me now. Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner who deserves punishment, but I want to turn away from my sins and receive Jesus Christ into my life as my Lord and as my Savior. I want to receive the gift of eternal life he purchased for me. Thank you, Lord. In his name we pray, amen. If you prayed that prayer from your heart for the first time, we have a free gift we'd like to send you. It's beginning again. Dr. Kennedy's book for new believers to guide you in your new relationship with Jesus. Contact us to receive a copy today and may God richly bless you as you do.